So, Loretta, what do we have here? What is this? This is a giant puffball specimen that was uh, brought to me by Randy Cornelius, who knows uh, that uh, I'm familiar with puffballs and that uh, I have picked them in the past and I have, uh, you know, prepared them to eat because what you have to do is uh, wash them off and peel them and uh, you can, it's, it's a fungus so you have to slice them and uh, fry them in butter and they're, I think, quite delicious. So if it's a fungus, is it related to a mushroom and what does it taste like? It is related to a mushroom. It, uh, it is a fungus and it tastes very similar to the mushrooms that we eat and buy from the grocery store. And do they grow, when you, when you find them, can you just find them anywhere in the woods or? It's usually in the woods and it's usually someplace that might be shaded and rather damp uh, continuously. And I think we've had quite a bit of rain and that, that's what I would attribute this size mushroom to is the rain. And they grow on, uh, on dead wood, usually wood chips or uh, dead roots of trees. And you can find them in uh, most places uh, uh, in the woods that's not too disturbed or trampled on. Um, are they usually above ground or below ground when you find them? This is always above ground, but they grow, you can see by the little stem here that it, uh, that would be reversed upside down. And uh, it would grow, Look, it would look like it would be sitting on the ground. So this puffball here is quite large for a puffball? Like what size are they normally? Well, that is a large one, it, and I think the terminology for these puffballs are giant puffballs uh, in the literature. Uh, so they do grow quite big, but they could be all the way from a very small one, which I see we have one here, uh, to this size. And I think this is about as large as they get. Um, does the size affect the flavor at all, or do they all taste the same? I, I don't think the size affects the flavor, but the um, uh, condition of the puffball would affect the flavor. And it has to be, when you cut it nice and white in the center, and it's solid. This is a solid piece of uh, vegetation. So... Uh, that's the way it is. You, you peel it and you slice it and then you can fry it in butter. So when you prepare it, you have to peel off this outside layer? Right. I would just wash it and then uh, this there's a skin on there and that skin is easy to peel off. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'm very wondering, I'm very curious of what it, what, it, what it tastes like, but you said it tastes like mushrooms, so... Well, I'll bring you some tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you can eat all you want. <laughs>